Okay, so you've got your Facebook page set up, which is fantastic. And that's now going to give you access to the Audience Insights tool. Okay, up here you can see Audience Insights. Now, how you get to this just depends on how your Facebook uh, is set up. So it's kind of difficult for me to give you a, a complete one-stop shop on how to get to this place. But basically, just either look up in the menu. You might have a top menu that looks a bit like this with your... Uh, ads manager audiences audience insights this kind of thing or uh, it might be on your personal page or maybe just type audience insights into the search bar either way you're going to find it pretty quickly okay and you're going to land on a page that looks like this and essentially what it is is a massive search engine of uh, everybody on Facebook if you like and what we have down here on the left hand side is a, a column where we can put in all kinds of criteria so we've got location we've got age and gender we've got interests connections and pages we can leave that for the moment it's these three which we really want to focus on and over here on the right hand side it's basically giving us the results so let me give you a quick demo location United States all right so remember when we were thinking about our customer avatar we were thinking about age and gender and likes and all this kind of stuff so here I've chosen the United States just for the moment, I could have put UK, Australia, whatever I'm looking for, but I'll stick with the United States. Age, for the moment, I've chosen 18 to any, and gender, I've just chosen all. All right? Now, imagine I'm, I've got that piece of jewelry, that dog jewelry that, we've been, uh, that I've been looking at with you, and I want to see what sort of people I can target on Facebook. So, in the interest here, I can just simply type jewelry select it and over here this information is now updated and I can see straight away that 72% of them are women 28% of them are men and I can see the age groups which are you know m mostly interacting with jewelry the general huge um, uh, category of jewelry so 26% of them that's the major one are between 25 and 34 uh, and so on and so forth you can see that hopefully quite easily now this um, this part of this uh, audience insights is a huge amount of information and it's quite fun to to go through it all but frankly I find um, some of it perhaps of limited interest um, limited use but you might be different um, if I scroll down a bit here I've got things like lifestyle uh, apparently 3% of them are rural parents this kind of stuff uh, their education level their relationship status their job titles, you know, I don't find this particularly useful, but you may find a use for it. Now, the thing that I do find incredibly useful is this part here, page likes. Now, if I click, click on page likes, it's starting to tell me straight away, sorry, scroll down a bit quick there. If I just come down to here, the, um, the most popular pages on Facebook that, that you know, relate to jewelry that people like. So we can see here, for example, the Mint Julep uh, Boutique or uh, Just Fab, or uh, Inspired Silver. So what we can do is we can target people, for example, who have liked the page Inspired Silver as, you know, that's basically somebody saying, yes, I'm interested in jewelry. Now, what I can do as well, obviously, is if I just come back to demographics, I might want to now just focus on women, click on women, all right, so there we go. All the men have disappeared. <laughs> and I said to you before, I would generally focus in my example on women aged 30 and above. So now we start to see the demographics changes. And maybe the page likes now are different because we're looking at a you know 30 plus as opposed to all women. So if I scroll down here now, yeah, we've got some different stuff in here. Yeah, we've got, uh, what is this, 12 tomatoes. I don't even know what that is. Uh, tip hero by the way if you click on any of these it's going to take you to the page to the Facebook page so you can see exactly what it's like if I start to click on some of these other ones here location you know I talked about jewelry being location independent um, you know there's not much to be said there and as we go through here I mean it's just nuts what's available but um, you know frequency of activities devices that users use we've got things like uh, household income and, and and it goes on and on and on uh, personally, I focus on the demographics and the page likes. Now, just to sort of, you know, perhaps take another uh, interest, let's just go back here to all ages. I just want to perhaps pick another interest just to, to illustrate the point a bit more. 
let's say you're in the skiing business. All right, let's say we click on Alpine skiing. Click on demographics and yeah, sure enough, we've got a nice uh, sort of fairly even spread actually between uh, men and women who ski, 56% of women, 45% of men. Click on here on page likes. Um, you know, what have I got? I've got uh, all kind of, Lindsay Vaughn, I mean, if you're a skier, that's uh, the big famous name. That, uh, you know, so people are liking Lindsey Vaughn, which demonstrates that they are skiers. We might want to target those people. The US ski team, Michael Phelps, he's a swimmer. I'm not sure what he's doing in there. But anyway, you start to get a feel for how this page can spark off ideas of what people are interested in and therefore how to target them. All right, I'll see you in the next lecture.